What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's a Gear Thursday video. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and answer a question I get a lot, which is how I record the sound for my videos. What's important for me is that I get a good quality sound, which I've evolved over the years that I've been doing this, but what's super important is the, the efficiency, like how fast can I make the video but still get quality? So there's always a balance for how fast I can get something done because I'm making a lot of videos for the quality. So what I've been using with Marty Music is this a Zoom recorder. I'm going to grab it here because it's pointed at my guitar amp right now. It's the Zoom H4N. I've had this thing for years. It's a, sometimes you call it a you can call it like a field recorder, handy recorder. Um, there's newer versions of this now because this one's got to be seven or eight years. I originally bought this not for uh, YouTube videos, but for recording uh, gigs, recording band performances and band rehearsals. Uh, it gives you a great quality and a lot of control over the, uh, the level of volume. So if you look at this thing, uh, one thing that's kind of cool here is it, you've got this little peg that screws into it. So you can take that peg and slide it right into a mic stand. So, and then in the front here, there's a stereo microphone that you can adjust the volume for in the controls. And so when I'm recording my electric guitar, I point the stereo mic right, uh, you know, I don't know, about a foot away from the speaker and I adjust the volume and I check the levels. If I'm doing acoustic, I just point this out of the way of the camera right to where you can't see it. And I just point it, uh, point it up at the acoustic guitar and turn the volume level up. So the way I record videos with it is that typically the guitar, especially electric guitar, is gonna have a different level than my speaking voice. So what I've done is right here, plugged into this, and it's just got a little cable. This is a Sony lavalier microphone, which is, connected to my shirt. So that's what I'm using to get, let me put this here. That's what I'm using to, to capture my voice. So I put this right here. And then this H4N, what it has is it has two XLR inputs right here, and then the stereo mic here. And so it's some different settings that you can go in is you can get separate mic level controls for one and two, and then a separate level for the stereo mics here. So I'm always using the stereo mics for the uh, sound of the guitar or the sound of the amp, and I adjust the level so it comes in nice. Then I have a separate level that's connected here that I can control that does my voice. So I'm so gonna play uh, a little bit, and I'm gonna use, you're gonna, obviously the good sound is gonna be the sound from the recorder, and then I'm gonna, periodically switch it off and you're going to hear the sound that's being captured from the actual camera, which is not a very high quality sound. So you can hear the difference there. <laughs> my speaking voice into my little clip-on mic here, or the sound of the camera there sounds like this. Blah, 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 blee, blue, blah, blah. And then here is now the sound of the clip-on mic. Blah, blee, blah, blue, blue, blah, blah. So I use this H4N recorder. You can find them used for a really good deal on Reverb.com. They're always on there. I, I definitely recommend people getting them. They're versatile. But you also have that, what I like is that I have separate controls for a microphone that's either recording the acoustic guitar or the amp, and then a separate level of this lavalier mic that's clipping on. And so that's very convenient. The other thing is I use Adobe Premiere for editing my video, and I still capture the sound on the camera because what I do is I take the sound from the H4N recorder and I hit a, a control 
on Adobe Premiere called Synchronize, and it'll just line it up. So I don't have to actually get the better sound quality and look at the uh, signals to line it up. It'll do that automatically. So I always get a reference audio straight from the camera. That way, when I go to edit, it, it's really fast. I can put that high quality sound right in there in a few seconds. And so thus, the most important thing for me is quality, but efficiency. So thanks again for uh, watching this very special episode of Marty Music. I appreciate your support. And uh, go ahead and leave in the comments below uh, other gear you'd like to see me cover, whether it's production or you know recording, anything like that. Let me know and I will give it to you. Thanks again. We'll see you later. Uh.